friendly deer. Where are we going? We're going to do the Narrows. And this big mountain right to our immediate left. The idea is Angel's Landing. Is it cold? We just got into the thigh deep part of the Narrows. Eventually we will be swimming apparently. Maybe. We reached our first sunny spot. It's pretty crazy. Pete, are you cold? It's chilly. <laughs> the Narrows has opened up. It's gotten sunny again. There it is, the old sun warming us up because we were about shoulder deep. bag it. It's like, why am I even holding it up if I'm not paying attention to it? Oh Alright, everything is waterproof. Listen to the gurgling noise.
This is a cool part with this little carved out section. And some shrubbery. What do you think you're doing? Eating his food? Shame on you. Shame. <laughs> What's up, Erica? and arrows. All done. Now we're getting a burger. Mmm. Gobble, gobble, gobble. So Elena and I left our um, helmets like right in the back up there. I know it's a mess, but we're living out the car. And uh, it's in Utah, it's been getting to 105. So we come back, you know, the car's probably 150. <laughs> and our helmets are completely <laughs> deformed. Her, at least hers is symmetric and not doesn't have this leaky solid glue thing. Mine's just ugly. It's kind of symmetric, but also the uh, shit, you can see this stuff poking out and it shrunk and hers didn't do that. Better quality. Burn, where are you at? I go. So, mom, you might remember this, but you had one of these machines at our old house, so I knew exactly what it was. Basically, you step inside this band and you turn it on, and I guess it was a fat just machine. Do yeah. it, it's funny. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, work. <laughs> it's ridiculous. On our way up to Corona Arch. Walking on some uh, cool cutout for the railroad. And it's hot. Yeah. Just kidding, that railroad was not the trail. <laughs> uh, so, we out here now. It is already super hot. Super hot. Super duper. Not to worry, we have hydration and sunscreen. There she is. Stay hydrated. All right, we made it. Pretty incredible. Nuts to think people have flown through here. There's Elena. <laughs> we on the back side of the arch making friends with the birds. That doesn't look so sturdy right there. You don't look so sturdy right there. Ooh. I'll have to save your life. <laughs> wow. That railroad track is where we were walking. We didn't get nearly this far. This is we like probably stopped Versilla. before the bend, but we were like, yeah, this doesn't seem right. I just ran up here with a little breath, but wanted to check this out. I learned this in Zion on a bus the other day. Water passes through all the permeable layers of rocks. And then there's a point where it's no longer permeable and has to, the water's forced out 
horizontally, and that's where you get these hanging gardens. Pretty neat. Elena's whistling at me. Elena and I are in Arches National Park. The Arches. This is, which one is this? This is the window, the I think. Anyways, it's kind of like Corona Arch, just another arch. It's neat though. It looks like it could just break and fall on our heads at any moment. Yeah. This is where we're camping the night. Mark is supposed to be finding sticks for us to cook our hot dogs with, but he's mostly just looking around. It's a pretty cool spot. It's super quiet out here, but we both have tinnitus, so all we hear is ringing. There's a little bunny right there. He's so cute. Oh, I scared him. He's really cute though. He's got a white bushy tail and big ears. Mark? We got the corn and the peas, the hot dogs on a stick. Check out this sweet campsite. I'm whispering because it's that peaceful. Check out this campsite. Look at these weird plants. Climbing up to Pistachio Hill. It's all green. I named it, I don't really know what it is. I see some campsites down there. We've reached the start of Pistachio Hill. Quite beautiful. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's, we've decided it's kind of like standing on top of pistachio scoops and these are the chocolate crumbles. <laughs> it's the weirdest terrain. It's so cool though. We've made it to the top of Pistachio Hill. And our car is... Right. There's the bend in the road. Right about there. Hard for me to tell on the screen. If you're wondering about the consistency of Pistachio Hill, what a jump! Ah! Buffalo, bison on Antelope Island National Park. Another one over there. In your natural habitat of being miserable in heat. <laughs> <laughs> we have a runaway tent. The wind's really starting to pick up up here. And it's blowing our tent away because we were about to pack it up. And put it in back in the bag so it wouldn't stake down. So Mark's running for it. You can see, oh, there's a flag. Right at the crest of the hill though, it's whipping. Flying standby life. Those are my bags. Sitting out there all lonely. Waiting to see if I make it on the plane, but I'm not making it on this plane. It's overbooked. So, we'll probably make it on the next flight. Or, we'll just send them on this flight and I'll get them later. Nope. They're pushing the plane out. Didn't make it on this one. So I thought I'd show you around the first class area, since if you're anything like me, you would never pay full price for a ticket like this. Uh, I've only been given this opportunity, and it's really cool, so check it out. Got this big old screen, a little cubby, charger, a little pull out area for your food. And you get these two cubbies down here. This is a blanket they provide, um, and this is another cubby. And under there, 
is um, it's kind of like a bed sheet cover thing. It, uh, what would you call it? Kind of like a mattress topper you can throw in your seat. And then you get these flippy floppies, which are super comfy. Um, and then you got this like control panel right here. This whole seat lays flat. But we're landing, so I have to put that back. But you can control the back, the front, turn on the light. Um, and you got some storage, some free headphones. Uh, they give you a little package with like toothpaste and pens and a postcard and stuff to cover your eyes. I got one from my last flight, so I'm gonna leave that. Charging ports and headphone plug-in. Right here, you've got a remote for the TV, which goes right there. And all that I can do is hope you're okay Are you? And I hear your parachute Hope oh, back in Korea, searching for my car in the parking lot. Hope you've enjoyed this Utah adventure and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.